Lunch is really your only break from the classroom. A break from all that mind-numbing knowledge. But just because it's a break from the mind-numbing doesn't mean it's a break from the brain rotting. So today I'm going to be talking about the shenanigans that went down at the school lunch table. First, we're going to talk about how your lunch decided your social status. If you had like a half-molded PB&J, you were looked as like a homeless peasant roach. You weren't even a person. But if you had one of those ham and cheese pizza lunchables, you were looked at as a god. Kids would be building shrines for you and throwing their little brothers and fire pits as an offering. And if you tried to trade food, it was always like some kind of reality TV show. Here, things are heating up at the 8th grade lunch table. Timmy is trying to get David to trade his yogurt cup. Listen, I'll give you a cheese stick and a raisin box. What is it? What is that? Chump change? Get the hell out of here. Wait, I'll give you all my cheese sticks for the rest of the week. Now, a guarantee of a cheese stick for the entire week is pretty good, but I can smell his desperation. I'm going all in. How about that, uh, Kit Kat there, too? Uh, I, uh, don't you want the yogurt cup? I, uh, sure, it's a deal. It's a feast or famine world, and I'm the beast that feasts. I think I just got scammed. We would also play the stupidest games imaginable, such as Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare, which you always picked Dare because if you weren't, you would be called a chicken. But the dares were so stupid. I think the most vile dare ever done at that school lunch table was being told to go to the girls' bathroom. I mean, in eighth grade, that was pretty much a war crime. You could get cooties going over there. Who knows what could happen? There were also those insane roast battles where if you laughed a little bit too hard at someone's joke and you heard, man, I know you ain't laughing. Then you knew your entire existence was about to be roasted to hell and back. <laughs> Jacob, I know you're not laughing. How's your parents' divorce going, huh? How's grandpa digging a nap six feet under? West Grove Lane 3892, huh? IP 3367233983. You got three days, Jacob. By the time the police find your body, I'm gonna be smoking a cigar in Mexico and fused with your ashes. And I can't personally relate to this, but I know if you were like a fat kid and you ate too fast, people would be like, is it good? And then start laughing their asses off, but yet again, I can't relate to this because I'm skinny as hell. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm not actually animated. This is a real camera. This is how I actually look in real life. Pretty sure I talked about this in my School Foods 2 video, but there was once a fight at a school lunch table. Some guy splashed chocolate milk in some girl's face for whatever reason, and her response was to throw a fucking chair in his face. They both got suspended, but that's a pretty big overreaction to throw a metal chair in someone's face for splashing chocolate milk on you. There was also something that specifically happened to me. I was in the lunch line and this guy and this girl turned around and were like, oh, what's, what's your name? A jagged paradox. Then they did like some weird like secret squirrel laugh. And then ever since then, they would come up to my lunch day and be like, hey, bestie, what are you doing, bestie? And I, I was so annoyed. I was like, what are these people doing? Oh, but jagged, they're, they're only trying to be your friend. No! They were doing it in kind of like a patronizing, like, pity friend kind of way. But I couldn't just tell them to leave because some people were saying that, oh, oh, they're just being nice. And then towards the end of the year, they were like, oh, we're going off to college. We're, we're gonna miss you so much. That was like the greatest news I've ever heard in my entire life because they would not stop harassing me. And then the girl, she turns to me and is like, oh, I'm gonna miss you so much. Uh, maybe you can come to my dorm room and we can cuddle. And I was a sophomore at the time. How are you going to be almost a college student and start flirting with sophomores? That, that's gross. That's weird. And on an unrelated note, once my friend got hit in the head with a muffin by his friend, like I guess as a joke, and then the principal saw this, walked over to my friend and was like, what are you doing? Stop throwing stuff. Like He's the one that got hit. But all in all, lunch tables were actually pretty fun, especially if you were sitting with your friends, even though the food was shitty. Once I got a burger with something that was supposed to be a beef patty, but this was not beef. This was a mild argument. But anyways, that's kind of all I have to say about school lunch tables so see you next time and you won't find the bodies